Howdy. So, before we get into this reading, can you do me a favor and let me know in the comments below how you are just doing, right? I really do want to know. I like to check in with my peeps. So, uh, let's just get into this reading, y'all. Hey, girl. Howdy, my beautiful Taurus. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading, Taurus, today. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Taurus, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help out my tarot channel a lot, and I am super appreciative uh, when you guys support my tarot channel in that way. But also let me know what tarot cards do resonate with you in the reading for you today as well, because that's how I keep up with you, Taurus, is through the comments, right? Um, and and before we get into this tarot reading, I just want to remind you, Taurus, to rely on your intuition when it comes to receiving my weekly readings, because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. When it comes to my weekly readings, I believe they're just here to give you a perspective to consider, so or some food for thought, rather right? So keep that in mind, right? I'm not here to make a decision in your life because it's ultimately your life to live, not mine and not these tarot cards. So with all that being said, my beautiful Taurus, you like that little said, like that little high key pitch there is readjusting for some reason that made me uh, have a little bit of a voice crack, honey. Uh, let's get into your reading. Uh, and also, let me just call out the elephant in the room. Oh, maybe it's only me that's noticing. I got my eyebrow pierced, and so my piercer uh, gave me a heads up and be like, hey, you might end up getting a black eye. So that's uh, if you bruise easily. And so we're in the process of seeing me potentially get a black eye here, <laughs> like, because I'm just bruising. So, like, this is, like, going, like, you're noticing that my, like, this eye is just, like, noticeably, like, more shut. It's just because, like, I'm a little bit swollen. But uh, it doesn't hurt at all. So, anyways, let's get into your... Uh, uh, reading Taurus. Uh, I pulled some cards just to get a, an idea of what's going on in your current situation. You know, you, just the journey that you're on right now. And so you guys, Taurus got the lover's card, number six for numerology. So write down the number six uh, to look up later at a later point, Taurus, to just to see how the number correlates with you and just your life at this point. And I'll read off the card. The, it's Archangel Raphael, by the way, as well. So my Taurus is, depending on your belief system, if you're open to working with angels, Raphael would be a good one to work with this week. Uh, this card says intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions and good health. So with the lover's card, I mean, this could be in one of two ways, right? It could be speaking of this, you could be dealing with a person right now and not sure, like, you know, maybe you're in your head about what big decision to make with the person, how to handle the person, or it could just be generally talking about just a situation in general for you, Taurus. Uh, based off of these cards, your extra cards that I pulled for you, it does seem to be like, Taurus, you guys have uh, seemingly felt felt like you kind of made like a mistake almost, or where you feel like you could have made uh, better decisions. Um, how would I won't put this? It's almost just like you're realizing where you could improve on something, Taurus. And so because of that, it does feel like for some of you guys, you, Taurus, are at this uh fork in the road almost where it's just like all right now that you're able to identify what's going on what you're able to identify something that you should be improving on now where does that leave Taurus does Taurus make the decision to make this drastic shift because it does seem to be like whatever it is that you are realizing that you could have improved on it kind of is like a I don't know it does feel like it's a big uh decision for you guys just because when you have like a major arcana talking about decision that's when you kind of know that it's like all right major arcana already is just uh kind of like a sign of big changes but um the lovers kind of makes it speaks on just how um impactful it would be if that makes sense and so you're clarifying cards taurus i'll start breaking these down after i show them to you you have the ace of air you have the nine of air and then you have the eight of fire so taurus let's break this down for you uh let's let's see what card do we want to start talking about first for you i feel like let's talk about the uh we have the Eight of Air. Let's talk, or Eight of Fire, rather. Let's talk about the Eight of Fire, or the Eight of Wands, a normal tarot. This card talks about events moving at a fast pace, delays are over, 
and many things happening at once. So with this card, this is almost a message of where I feel like this is what's kind of caused you to start reflecting on things, Taurus. You, uh, you start going down this path and like things start presenting itself into your face, whether those are like some red flags or just like certain details that you, like, you weren't uh, initially privy to. And you're just like, well, now, wait a minute now. I don't know if I want this anymore. I thought that like maybe you had like a completely different idea of how something would pan out or just like the, uh, just. Yeah, it's almost just like you thought you signed up for a different book, almost, uh, from some of you Tauruses. And so when things start happening, you're just like, now, wait a minute, did I sign up for this? I don't know if I signed up for this kind of thing. Um, so you're kind of left in this state of uh, questioning, right? And so you have the Nine of Air coming in here, or the Nine of Swords in Normal Tarot. So with this card, it says expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies, and sleepless nights. So with this, this is what's going on. Like, this is my anxiety card, uh, Taurus. So this lets me know if, like, now that you're able to and I, uh, get it out, Velka, identify uh, something that's going on in your life that you're just like, oh, I don't know if you really wanted to deal with this anymore, right? You kind of feel like you signed up for, like, sold your life away or sold yourself to something that, um, yeah, it just feels like you're kind of, like, regretting it now or kind of just being like, uh, like, kind of wishing you did made the other decision kind of wishing you went into the other uh fork and the uh, other path and that fork of the road uh towards for you guys and so now this is where it goes I remember going back into that lover's card of a decision Taurus right this kind of puts you at this uh, tough spot of where it's just like for you Taurus you're just like well crap like you now that you're dealing with these things even though you signed up for this at the same time you're just like I don't know if you want this anymore now that you're dealing with those actual the consequences of those actions right essentially and so now you're just like well how do I handle this from here right because maybe for some of you guys like confrontation ends up having ends up needing to happen for some of you guys Maybe you jumped into like a situation uh, too quickly because you just thought about the best case scenario and you weren't really considering about just the actual details and just what have you, right? And then you have the Ace of Air coming in here where it's just like now that you're able to identify it and at this place tour so we are just like all right well what's the next move for you now you're in this place of thinking it through Taurus. you're just like all right this card says brilliant new ideas and inspirations seeing the truth in a situation and situation and a challenging new beginning so this is kind of like the theme here right challenging new beginning for you guys Taurus. i feel like you guys are stuck in this place Taurus, where it's just like you can make this one decision that's more fitting for you, but then it's just it maybe it is just not part of like other people's plans, right? Maybe it's just kind of would somehow disrupt things for other people. So it makes it a little bit harder uh, for you towards to make that decision of being able to just be like, just like, oh yeah, like, let's just go down this path, like whatever. It's not so black and white for you towards, right? So you guys are in this tough spot right now. So now let's start breaking this down. Let's see um, what's going to be happening this week for Taurus. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all not going to believe the cards that are coming forward for you, Taurus, right off the bat. Oh my gosh, what is happening for you, Taurus? <laughs> All right. So... We got some extra cards for you. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords for you, the Lover's card, and then the Eight of Wands, Taurus. So two cards following you, the Lover's card. So you're definitely going to continue on addressing the same situation that you've been going through, um, Taurus. The Eight of Wands here does definitely show to me where it's just like this is something you can't really avoid Taurus in this situation here like with this lover's card you're still stuck in this place of almost just like an indecision um almost where it's just like it feels like your life isn't going to be able to continue moving forward in some in any way until you make a decision on this right with this eight of wands it seems like the further you uh delay 
making a decision on this Taurus, the, for, the deeper you're going to end up getting. So it's one of those things, it's like how much longer are you going to just kind of, you know, keep silent on something that, on, that just doesn't feel right to you, Taurus, just for the sake of avoiding confrontation. I don't feel like you're going to be able to avoid this, Taurus. Uh, something's just not sitting right with you in some, some, in some sense of the word, and you're just feeling trapped in it. And it's like, I feel like deep down, Taurus, you kind of know the decision that you need to make. It's going to be the hard one. And it's one of those things where it's just like, you can't really avoid this kind of tough decision. You can't avoid this kind of discomfort, right? Um, because it's all, all that's going to do is do a disservice to you, Taurus. I really, the only thing I want to say, Taurus, is just don't be so hard on yourself. If you ended up committing yourself to something and then just kind of like buyer's remorse later, um, don't feel bad about that, right? It does just seem like, especially in the sense that maybe for some of you Tauruses, you're trying to just like deal with it a little bit longer or just like keep on pushing through with this Taurus just because you feel like you should have to or just because you can deal with it but here's the thing Taurus just because you can deal with something just because you can handle a certain level of discomfort doesn't mean you should right this eight of swords here like this is like you're not gonna grow on this situation I don't really feel like the situation is going to really develop into anything deeper right you're not really getting cards on the situation here that's like leaning this further into um a narrative that would it would be fruitful for you Taurus to just lean into this more and normally if any if you're not if you already f are familiar with my weekly readings Taurus I'm usually a pretty big fan of telling people to lean into things that are making them uncomfortable because I believe that you can learn something from that situation right I feel like you I mean I'm all about that character development honey but in this situation it doesn't seem like there's gonna be there's really any character character development it's just one of those things where it's just like you know <laughs> like you just go to this job every single day feeling completely unfulfilled you end up coming home feeling completely drained feeling just feeling like crap right just because it's not feeding and sustaining your soul it may pay the bills but it's just not sustaining you in the way that it needs to right there could be completely in the whole on paper the situation could just seem perfect but for you it's just it's not hitting right and no one can predict that right obviously you went you didn't see that coming because if you saw that coming then maybe you wouldn't have agreed to it initially so it's just something you have to remind yourself towards that we're only human and we're just always in this constant we're all in a state of going down our own path and so sometimes that path changes from day to day you know and you can't just expect yourself just to commit to one thing even if it doesn't feel right right so i pulled some extra cards just to get um a little bit more advice on the situation for you for us and so we have the judgment card coming in with the fool card and then we have the eight of cups right so as i was saying before when i was saying like just the situation could be perfectly fine but you still kind of have to make the judgment call on walking away from it right the eight of cups right here encapsulates that message right off the bat again right that's what i was referencing kind of in my head whenever i was saying it. it's just like you know those eight cups right those eight cups they could be filled right nothing wrong with those eight cups honey but it's not 10 cups for you right it's not enough for you so you have to make the uh the, the decision to walk away from it, right? To go to something that actually is a lot more fulfilling to you that will actually sustain you in the way that you personally need to be sustained, uh, Taurus. And don't feel bad about that, right? Like, everyone has their own uh, purpose. Everyone has their own feelings and they're all just completely valid. And just because what works for one person doesn't mean it's going to work for everybody else, right? So I do see you needing to make the judgment call, Taurus, on something aware. It's just like, you know, you kind of have to just bite the bullet on something, Taurus. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit hard. It's going to be uncomfortable, right? Even in the moment when you're speaking your truth, you might be just like uh, shaking and intimidated by the situation. You could be very much so just scared, right? Because this individual is going out into the unknown with the moon card, with the moon hanging back here, right? It could just be like making this judgment call decision for you, Taurus, 
it just sets your the rest of your path up to be uh, a lot scarier. Maybe for some of you guys, you might end up feeling a little bit more lonely for a time, but it's during those times, Taurus, that you learn the most about yourself, speaking from experience, honey. And so, yeah, the full card. This is the and this is the individual who is, you know, this is the, the number zero in the major arcana because it's the start of a new journey uh, for you, Taurus. And so, yeah, for some of you guys, this is just you're kind of at a point where you have to accept this is where the narrative changes this is where the story changes you know maybe you have to kill off some of your uh <laughs> actually let's not even use that as an example though okay, honey we're not talking about killing off anything killing off any characters right um but i feel like just the general message here is just because you thought some people or some situations were supposed to be part of your path for a lot longer than they currently seem to be lasting um doesn't mean that you know doesn't mean that you're not going forward in life it just it's the only way i can really put this uh taurus is that you view this as a time of where you just accept cycles coming to a completion don't see it as like someone being at fault or someone lacking anything it's just a situation where something comes into completion just because you expected it to last longer honey like the package of oreos that i bought i expected to last longer than a day but spoiler alert it didn't last longer than a day right <laughs> and so that's one thing that you probably would never expect to hear from a tarot reader is that you cannot fully anticipate the future and what's going to be happening right you kind of have to uh roll with the punches and just be prepared for anything that's going to be presented to you uh Taurus. so yeah let's just do a quick little uh spread now for you Taurus. let's see on uh what good things are happening for you this week? What is the good? What are the, what is the good that is in the works for you, Taurus? So, give me a moment as I shuffle these cards for you. I should get into a better habit so where you guys can actually start seeing seeing these cards being shuffled and stuff. So it's not just y'all staring at my face the entire time, right? Especially with right this being swollen, honey. All right. So the good things happening for Taurus this week. We have the Queen of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and then the Five of Wands. <laughs> Taurus, y'all know I have to be honest with you with whatever it is I see coming. I'm not gonna ever give you just like a bunch of fluff here. I am probably, I'm seeing this as kind of like a situation where spirits kind of, being kind of passive aggressive in a sense of where it's just like the blessing coming and what's coming in this week is it seems like a confrontation is being in the works of being set up where you're gonna where you're going to kind of be forced to deal with the situation that you kept on putting into the back burner right you're gonna be forced to address this closure of some type of cycle in your life you're gonna be addressed forced to kind of be put into a situation where you uh have to speak your truth and uh, put yourself first, Taurus, and being able to say, just like, this doesn't feel right for me. Now, let me explain why I feel this way, Taurus, just with the cards themselves. You can even look up the cards and see how they would, like, be more fitting for you if that doesn't resonate, honey. But, um, Queen of Swords, this is the queen, this is the card I'm arguably the hardest on, just because the Queen of Swords is someone that, not nothing wrong with the Queen themselves, but this is a person who, I don't want to say feels vengeful, but will be very much so, uh, <sighs> they're the ones putting up very strong boundaries and it's usually reactionary, right? You feel wronged in a situation and so then it's just like, uh, you kind of react in such a way, it's just like, you're not going to betray me in any sense of the word again, or like hurt me in any sense of the word again, uh, just by cut from the boundaries you set. Five of Wands is that conflict card, right? And then you have the uh, Knight of Cups, where it's kind of being presented to you. Um, <laughs> and so, yeah, I kind of feel like you're... You're gonna just this week, uh, Taurus. You're gonna be forced to have to deal with this, clo like forced to deal with this closure in a sense. But it's going to be for the best, right? So you didn't really get any flashy cards, Taurus. Um, talking about just like rainbows and sunshine or anything like that, right? It does seem to be like your blessing is heavily um, influenced by. Uh, 
being forced to deal with certain situations in your life, right? But it's for the best, Taurus, and I think you know this as well. This is probably something that you've kind of known for in the back of your mind for quite some time, and some of y'all, you've probably been watching it brew in the back of that, on the back corner of that stove for some time, so you're not really surprised by the, this reading, huh? But uh, let's close this reading out for you, Taurus, on what stone or crystal that y'all would work, should work with best this week. Let's see here. Apache Tears, number five. Now, I'm going to be honest, Taurus, I don't know a single lick about Apache Tears. And so I'm going to suggest to you to look up the stone and the metaphysical benefits behind it and see if this would be fitting for you and how the like the properties behind it would be fitting for you in your life. And so, yeah, if you do feel called to crystals or a stone shop this week, maybe look at Apache Tears, my beautiful Taurus. But uh, yeah, that is the reading that I have for you this week. Taurus, I hope you resonated with this reading in some way. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you did, and let me know in the comments which cards resonated. Also, Taurus, I do weekly readings for all those zodiac signs, not just your zodiac sign, Taurus. So if you have a friend that's if you have a friend that's into tarot, honey, or even if they're not, be sure to send them their tarot video, their zodiac tarot video, and maybe they can find a tarot message that resonates with them. But until next time, Taurus, I love you so much. Bye.